This is what it looked like on Fort Hood Thursday afternoon after a soldier opened fire on fellow soldiers, killing 12 and injuring 31 more. And this is what it looked like at the front gate to Fort Hood as hundreds of wives, husbands, and parents waited for news about their loved ones. Every time I call the phone, it's busy. And this is scaring me. Oh, I, I just want if he can talk to me, I will calm down a little bit. As the day wore on, panic turned to confusion and heartache as the death toll rose. <laughs> She's my little sunshine, <laughs> so I can't wait to hold her and hug her and kiss her. I'm just, I'm really anxious to get to her now, you know. Adriana Peebles' three-year-old daughter was locked on the base while police searched to make sure the situation was over and everything was safe. I really, really pray for the, for the families that have lost somebody out there because my daughter's just inside a building, you know, and some people have lost their fathers and their mothers today, and that's horrible. The suspected shooter is this man, Major Nadal Malik Hassan. Federal officials say Hassan had come to their attention six months ago because of Internet postings that talked about suicide bombings. Shortly after the shooting happened, an Army spokesman said Hassan was dead, but later the Army reported he was alive and in stable condition, although he had been shot by responding officers. Just after 7 p.m., the all-clear was given at Fort Hood and soldiers were allowed to return to the base, the end of a long, long wait for many parents hoping to pick their children up from school. Everyone was like, oh, go home and wait. And I'm, not, I'm this close to my child and it's been an awful day. I'm, I'm not leaving until I have him and I'm about to. With 12 dead and 31 others injured, this is considered the worst mass shooting ever on a U.S. military base. Rich Matthews, the Associated Press, Fort Hood, Texas.